never ever lose its power. Amen. Never ever lose its power. Amen. And the power of the blood canceled your debt. But you are afraid you have a debt. You are afraid because you are not holding the truth. You are not holding the teaching of Christ. You are holding the fears of men. You are holding the traditions and customs of men. You are holding the ways of a corrupt world. But tonight, uh, the Lord has sent us to you to wake you up and tell you, uh, daughter of Zion, uh, son of God, uh, yes. you are free. Uh, yes. The Son has set you free. Uh, you are free of your debt. Amen. Come on. Yes. Believe the truth. Hallelujah. Jesus said, you shall know the truth if you hold my teaching. Oh, yes. Then the truth shall set you free. Amen. You don't even need to set yourself free. Oh, brother, you know, I have to pay this debt. I need you to be free. I'm paying the bank. I'm paying. I'm paying until I be free. You want to set yourself free. Jesus told you, rest. He says, come to me, all of you who labor and are heavy laden, mm. and I will give you rest. He said, my yoke is light. Mm. You are supposed to be resting. In the covenant you have with God, God does the work. And Jesus represented God yes. in obeying the gospel. He died in your place yes. to fulfill all the promises of God. Amen. Now listen to this. Your debt is paid. Amen. That's what Jesus did on the cross. Yes. Now you say, ah, how does that happen? How does that directly apply to my debt? Listen to this. You owed God. Before you think about all these other fellas you think you owe, you owed God. Mm -hmm. And Jesus paid with his blood whatever you owed God. Now, God, his debt with you has been settled by the blood of Jesus. Amen. Now, if you have settled your account with God. Mm. No one has a right mm. to claim an account with you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. In the gospel according to Matthew, I believe it's the 18th chapter, mm. there is an account given about a king mm -hmm. who had a slave who owed him money, a servant who owed him money. And this king required his money to be paid, but the servant was unable to pay it. So the servant negotiated with the king. He implored the king to forgive him because he couldn't pay the debt, and the king forgave him. When that servant was going out of the palace, he found another servant who owed him money, and he said, you must pay me my money. And he got the soldiers and they arrested this other servant and they put him in the prison until he paid the money. The report reached the king mm -hmm. that, hey, listen to this. The other servant, did you not forgive him? Yet he has put another servant who owes him in prison. And the king said, I will put him in prison until he has paid the last coin. The moral of that parable mm. is very simple. After God cancelled the debt of all men, no man has a right yes. to claim a debt yes. of another man. Amen. That's the moral of that parable. Mm. Mm. Are you understanding? Yes. <laughs> Amen. Now, are you going to fear your debtor or your good? are you going to fear your God? God? That's the question you need to ask yourself. Amen. Choose to fear God. Amen. Joseph mm. got to know the truth. That's why the truth worked for him. Mm. 